This is my worst performing stock in any of my portfolios by far. All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about a company called Romeo Power, stock ticker RMO. So we've done some videos on Romeo in the past, and I think something has fundamentally changed. So I want to go through my thoughts and tell you what I'm doing about it. So this is a small cap, high growth stock. We cover these on the channel quite a bit. This is also in the EV sector, which we focus on as well. So if you're interested in content like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if everybody would please smash the like button, we would appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot. So this is a tough video. The risk profile for this company has changed and I want to talk about why and I want to talk about what I'm going to do about it for myself. So again, this is not financial advice, but if you follow my channel, you'll know I'm more of a long-term investor. I'm a buy and hold investor. I really won't sell a stock unless something has fundamentally changed. So I'm going to let you know whether or not I've sold this or what my strategy is with this. And I'm going to let you know what's changed. And really, I'll tell you right now, there's been a catastrophic drop off in the small cap high growth stocks. The entire stock market has moved into a pretty severe bear market. The Russell 2000, which the Romeo Power is a Russell 2000 type stock is down over 30% from its recent highs. The NASDAQ is down over 30%. Uh, the Russell and the NASDAQ are down almost 4% on the day today. So particularly with the small cap high growth stocks, I have a growing and growing list of stocks that are down between 80%, 90%, 95%. And Romeo actually is down more than 95% from its highs of about a year and a half ago. So this is very, very, very uncommon. It can happen. It's always a risk. I've said many times, in many of my videos, the ultimate risk is that your stock goes to zero. Well, typically that doesn't happen. But with Romeo, I'm now changing my risk profile to say that possibility of that has increased considerably. We're about 18 months into these stocks crashing and they seem to level off. They had a little bit of a bounce at the end of March. So my previous video was somewhere in that area and April and May of 2022 really turned out to be the worst two months for the entire stock market. But in specific, the small cap high growth stocks, it has push some of them to the brink where their risk profile has changed. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. One of the things that Romeo was counting on was to raise additional capital. When I made my last video, it mainly focused around this slide, which was in their investor presentation for the year ended December 31st, 2021. So there's two sides to this, and I focused on both of them. Over here on the left side, you'll see revenue. In Q1 and Q2 of 2022, Romeo had a situation where the supply chain literally halted their operations altogether. So their stock was down disastrously as a result of that. However, in Q3, they did $5.8 million in business, up from less than a million dollars in each of the first two quarters. So that was a significant improvement. But then in the fourth quarter, there was another significant improvement in revenue to $9.1 one million dollars. Now, Romeo has a giant backlog. If you want to learn more about what Romeo does, I've made several videos on Romeo, so I'll, you can check those out up here in the link. Suffice it to say, this this was a company that was getting back on track. You know, to go from one million to 5.8 million to 9.1 million, and then you'll see that left them at 16.8 million dollars revenue for the year in 2021. They were projecting 40 to 50 million dollars in 2022. So, you know, that was more than a double, potentially a triple in their revenue. Now they are not a profitable company yet. So that is why they had this chart on the right here called liquidity. So at the time that they put this out in March of 2022, they had $120 million in cash and they had $350 million new flexible equity line of credit. So that's $470 million. So this was a core part of my investment philosophy in this company. We knew that this was an early stage, small cap, high growth, and you can see it's an ultra high growth company. And, and their expectation is to grow considerably more than this. However, they are not yet profitable. They're cash flow negative. So this $470 million was a critical part of their equation. When we go to their stock chart, you're gonna see that the reduction in their stock price, which has been just stunning, has now put them in a position where I'm not sure that they have access to this $350 million. I'm going to show you the corresponding slide that they put out in their Q1 2022 update, and you'll see they've changed their language a little. And even if they were to use this $350 million equity line of credit, there's the potential that the dilution that this would cause would be very damaging to the company. So given those change in events, for me, this company in March of 2022, and even in April of 22, even though their stock had been beaten down drastically, it did look like they had access to $470 million 
million dollars and that was going to be enough maybe to get them where they're going in my opinion now there are no guarantees and I did say in my last video it could get worse before it gets better but I did think it ultimately would get better and now with the change in the overall market and the change in the economy you know, it's been just a series of events. Today, the market is down huge. Yesterday, the Fed raised the rates 0.75 or 75 basis points, which is the largest raise they've done in 28 years. It was 1994, the last time they made a rate hike that high. So inflation numbers have been very high. CPI was higher than expected. So pretty much every data point that's coming out is not good. The stock market, depending on what sector you're in, is potentially, you know, in the middle of a crash. And certainly in the small cap high High growth stocks. I made a video about a week ago, five stocks down 95% or more. And I said in that video, you know, this is a very unusual time. You don't you don't find stocks down 95%. That is a catastrophic loss in your stock. Well, Romeo Power is now approaching 99% decrease in their stock price from about a year and a half ago, which was their all-time high. So a lot of that was built in and a lot of that we knew about. But it's this last push in April and May that has really changed the equation mathematically, in my opinion, to increase the risk of this company greatly. I will tell you before I go any further, I do have two different accounts where I hold shares of Romeo. So I've, I'm taking two different approaches to this. And again, this is not financial advice. You guys have to decide what you think about Romeo and what your risk tolerance is and what your time frame is. There are a lot of things that I really, really like about this company. You can watch my previous videos and I go through those in detail. And, and some of those have not changed. And the other thing that I will say is with the technology they have and some of the moves that they've made even this year, they could be a potential acquisition target. Because as, as the supply chain problems persist, there are a lot of companies that are vertically integrating. And this would be a company that would be ideal because they have technology that is unique to their own. There are companies that would benefit greatly from this technology. So that's one potential upside for the stock. However, that is no guarantee at all. Again, this company does not make money. In addition to that, they could ride the storm out. I mean, they have put out some press releases. They've gotten a lot of new customers and they also make Made a major purchase. They were in a shared partnership with Borg Warner, which they bought Borg Warner out of. They were kind of, as far as I can tell, actually they were a little bit forced into that, but it has opened a lot of doors. There's a lot, there's a lot of people that they were not allowed to sell to that they now have access to. So I want to go to the corresponding slide. This is the corresponding page a few months later in their Q1 2022 update. So you'll see things have changed here. And I'm going to focus on the right side first, liquidity. You'll see this is now black, which is a bit ominous. And you'll see now they talk about, from a liquidity standpoint, $67 million in cash. So, you know, part of that's expected. We knew they had a cash burn, so they burned through some cash in the first quarter. But down here, you'll see, instead of a $350 million line of credit that they're talking about, they talk about $37 million they had to use to complete an acquisition of Borg Warner's interest in the joint venture, including direct costs to close the transaction. So that's a $37 million swing. There's no mention of the $350 million equity line of credit. So I'm not sure what the status of that is. There may have been terms in that that with their stock price where it is, I'm not sure if they're even eligible for that anymore. But even assuming that they are, I would still say that the risk profile has changed drastically on this company because again, they're going to be raising capital at pennies on the dollar from where they could have been even just three or four months ago. I'm going to go to a chart here. This is Romeo's market cap. And you you can see this is the last year and a half. So in January of 2021, this was a $2.8 billion market cap company at that time. They got some bad news, like I said, and really their sales turned off for two full quarters. So that dropped them down to a $1.2 billion market cap company. I've never seen anything quite like this. This has been a disastrous run for them. They're down 8.8% today. Now the market is having a huge down day. So any, any one given day, I'm not necessarily worried about. It's that $70 million market cap that could be very restrictive on their ability to raise the cash that they need to go forward. Okay, so before I look at the chart, I'm going to briefly tell you what I'm doing with this stock. In one of my accounts, I'm just holding this stock. So I have I stopped dollar cost averaging in. I did a lot of dollar cost averaging in in one of my accounts to this stock, and it got to a point I, I decided to hold my position, but I was not going to add to it anymore. And most recently, recently being yesterday, in my other account, in the 10K challenge, which we do, I sold my 
my shares of Romeo to free up some cash. However, I did buy Leap options to replace them. So I had 800 shares of Romeo. So I bought eight Leap options for January of 2024. That gives me a year and a half for this company to, to have a chance to get back on its feet. So, so my two different positions are I am holding this stock in one account and I've switched to Leap options in the other account. Now, again, I'm not telling you guys to do that. You have to decide what you want to do. This has been brutal. This is my worst performing stock in any of my portfolio by far. It's very frustrating. This was a company that had a lot of potential. The downside risk keeps getting greater and greater every day, in addition to the fact that the price is sinking every day. So, so I just wanted to show you the numbers on the chart. I actually forgot to put this in the original video. Th so through the magic of editing, it should now be in the video in its proper place. So this is the Romeo chart on the one week time frame. Romeo was trading as high as $38.89. Okay, so you can see, and this isn't exact, but they are down almost 99% since then, 98.9. Let's ignore this run up here that was maybe a little bit overbought. So I'm gonna pull back 71% and go to June of 2021. So again, that's already a 71% decrease in the stock. If I measure from there, we're still down 95% on this stock. So you can see this stock got hit over and over and over again. I'm gonna zoom in and show you particularly what's happened the last several months because this has really been what, in my opinion, has changed the risk profile. We came into 2022 at $3.74 Again, that was already down 90% from their highs. So you can see from there to March 4th, this stock was down about 60%, just under 60%. And that's about when I made my last video. So I had already been dollar cost averaging into this. From April 4th until now, this stock is down another almost 73%. They've hit a new all-time low pretty much every single day for the last week. So... You know, the last two and a half months have just put this stock in a completely different place than it was in. I don't have to tell those of you who own this stock, you know it, you're living it. So this has been a very painful one. I personally am going to stick it out to the end with these guys, but that's just me. So, you know, you guys need to make your own decision based on everything that I'm looking at. I can say I do think there's been a fundamental change in this company and and it has to do with market conditions so as a function of that the risk on this stock in my opinion is much greater than it was three months ago or six months ago so again that's just my personal opinion i wanted to get an update video out on romeo since i have changed my risk profile on this one in my personal opinion so thanks so much for watching and if you made it this far please remember to subscribe and smash the like button and i will see you in the next video